I think there was a little bit of disbelief. We're supposed to be winning. If we win, we win the Western Division and we go play Peyton Manning in the SEC Championship. I'd had a good game so far. I'd had a great year. The only thing that I'd not gotten an opportunity to do at Auburn was win a game. We were less than a minute. Alabama had the ball. They had been running the ball on us that whole game. That was the disheartening part. Everybody saw the time. Everybody knew what they'd been doing the whole game. And we just figured it was a couple of plays away from running it out. Right now, 51 seconds and down to 50. Kitchen reverses it out, throws the ball to Sism, loses the football. Auburn recovers at the 33. And it seemed like in a blink of an eye, everybody goes crazy. We look up. Quentin Reese is running off the field holding the football. And like that, we're back in it. And my brain went right to where are we on the field and how far of a field goal is it going to be? And it's going to come down to Jared Holmes. Everything that I have practiced for the last four or five years, uh, and I knew this was the kick that I've been waiting for. It's the one I would prayed for. It's the one every kicker dreams about. This field goal kick right here. So here's the ball game. 21 seconds left. Holmes to attempt the field goal from the left hash mark. Right before the snap, I said, if you miss it, miss it 10 miles up in the stadium. Whether the seams were facing me out, they were angled, I was gonna kick it with everything that I had. And wherever it went, it was going fast. Good pass. Got the distance. He is good. That night, when I came in and I struck that ball, there was no doubt. I heard the sound and I never felt it on my foot. I looked up over all the people just enough to see the tip of the ball going over dead center of the uprights. And he nailed it right down the middle. Uh, it was an adrenaline rush that I probably had not had before then and have not had since. The culmination of the things that you've just spent the last four or five years, but ultimately your entire football career working on happened all in one kick on one night on probably the largest stage of my football career. They ended up giving us, after Zod, they cut that goal post cutting it in and, and gave all of us a little piece of that goalpost to have as a memento. I remember before I walked off the field and I looked back and people still celebrating and making a mental note of saying, this is your last game, what a way to go out. That's one of the little moments I have back in the back of my mind that I always kind of go back to whenever I go back to Auburn. I get to look back and say, this is one of the greatest moments that I had in, in football.